Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel. Yesterday I noticed that we have passed the 10,000 subscriber mark on this channel now which is so exciting. So I thought today as a celebration I'd do something different and show you what's in my wardrobe. My exciting clothes. It's about a third of my clothes. I'm not an American. I don't drive around inside my closet in a sort of golf cart. These are the only things I have to wear these and some more so uh, Brandon's on the camera helping me today and um, yeah let's just dive in stripes I've got a lot of striped clothes in my wardrobe so if you want to emulate me and who doesn't you need to buy lots of striped clothes the only trouble is horizontal stripes do make your stomach look fat so I tend to wear these you know under a black t-shirt with just the stripy arms poking out my husband likes uh, to buy me um, t-shirts that have got Hello Kitty sort of melded with Cthulhu on them I don't know why um, this one quite small I did ask him uh, can you stop buying me t-shirts that are so small and we'll see later on what his response to that was he may have thought that I wear small clothes because I saw this hanging in my wardrobe <laughs> this is actually a little sailor suit that Brandon used to wear when he was a child didn't you Brandon yeah and it doesn't fit him now but uh, <laughs> but I still keep it in my wardrobe so I love it and it's like really dirty on the collar and washing didn't cure it so but it's very it's 22 years old here's another item that my husband bought me and I, I do worry <laughs> that most of the things he buys me I've got quite a grumpy vibe about them and you'll see that later too quite a grumpy mm. set of things with miserable faces on them so uh, we'll get to, we'll get to look at those later this is a t-shirt <laughs> this is a t-shirt that I wore when I went to a special day that YouTube set up in Manchester to train YouTubers I wore this I wore this blouse over the top I think it was obviously it was ironed and this whoops and this lovely lacy skirt which um, and some motorbike boots <laughs> convinced everyone there all the other YouTubers that I was a lunatic but it's a brilliant outfit that multiple of my friends have actually complimented you on as well oh well there you go the everyone loves people, that top the young people love it um, speaking of YouTube, I've got a couple of YouTube themed uh, things here. One is my YouTube t-shirt that I think I bought this for myself when I reached, was it a thousand subs or something? I treated myself to this YouTube t-shirt and this isn't strictly speaking YouTube merchandise. <laughs> if that doesn't scream YouTube, I don't know what does. It's very real to this house. Very real to this house. We have six cats and um, we're all attention -aholics. and now here's you know stay classy there's a classy t-shirt it's actually a t-shirt version of my business card <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it's got a photograph of something that i made on it and it uh, shows all my social medias these, these i've included just to show that i do have some adult woman clothing <laughs> and not just a load of stupid t-shirts but do you often see me in these, Brandon? Not really, no. no. These are the clothes that I wore to my mum's funeral. <laughs> so I shouldn't laugh. Why am I laughing at my mum's funeral? But you know what I mean. So they're a, a little bit sombre and grown up. Hmm. When, once you get to my age, you have to have funeral clothes. Everyday wear. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> Um, here's a jumper that's actually a man's jumper that I bought in the sale in Asda. I really like it and even though it's got a Christmassy vibe, it's too big and it's for a man and it's manly. I still wear it because it's one of my favourite jumpers, if not my favourite. Okay, so now we have this. It's my um, anonymous t-shirt. It says disobey on it. Can we see that, Brandon? You can see that. And um, I don't know what's happened to the collar. It's gone kind of pink. Don't really understand too much about Anonymous, but they say to disobey, and that's good enough for me. Um, here's a Star Wars t-shirt that Brandon bought me for Christmas. It's a little bit on the tight side. I haven't worn it yet, but I will wear it. Won't I, Brandon? Yeah. Because he bought it for me with love, and um, I need to lose weight anyway. 
So yeah. <laughs> all the men in my life, I'm pleased to say, see me as much thinner than I really am. Uh, this is a t-shirt that Dave bought for Brandon. It's a Pokemon Pokeball Wrecking Ball t-shirt and um, it's really fun. Brandon wore it a couple of times and he was a tiny bit bored and he said I can't throw it away. Dave bought it for me and I said that's okay. Just give it to me. Worst stepson in the world. Worst stepson in the world, true. So this is a really nice silky dressing gown that I inherited from my mother. Um, I actually bought it for her. I ordered it and it, it arrived at her house because she didn't live near me. And um, she had Alzheimer's disease. So um, when I spoke to her about it, she said that she had ordered it from a newspaper <laughs> and that it had arrived. And I said, no, mum, I sent it to you. And she said, no, I ordered it from the newspaper. You must have sent me a different one that hasn't arrived yet. And even though she got to a stage in the end where she couldn't even remember if some of our relatives were dead or alive, she sort of never, ever forgot that it was her that bought this, <laughs> even though it's me. She still argued that forever, really. But if you notice uh, any cat hairs on these clothes or the fact that they're not ironed, believe me, I don't... Um, Okay. go out of the house i don't care well done brandon <laughs> and i don't go out of the house um you know until i've ironed them or got the sticky roller on them um okay so i said that i told dave i wanted bigger t-shirts because he bought me that small cthulhu one now see i'm being, I think he's being a bit sarcastic there <laughs> this is what he's bought me now and um because he's very pale skinned and red haired i did point out that he reminded me of an axolotl so he got his revenge with this giant shirt uh, these are a couple of my favorite black shirts one is my hello kitty shirt which is getting really worn out now and it's a hello kitty stormtrooper and this is my aperture science t-shirt um aperture science if you are familiar with the game portal they're the ones who um, run all the experiments and built all the robots and things glados one of my favorite games to watch i can, literally cannot play it this is the top that i wore when i hosted the um 20th anniversary of the british polymer clay guild and it's kind of arty this t-shirt i wear a lot please wait sarcastic comment loading <laughs> and uh, it says more about me than it says about anyone else probably and it wasn't even your top no it was that mine. was another one from Brandon. <laughs> okay, this is my Star Trek red shirt t-shirt. If you know uh, anything about Star Trek, you'll know that people who wear red shirts when they go down to the planet are the ones who die. <laughs> and so I treated myself to that. This is my Edvard Monk t-shirt. And um, it's the Scream, but... You can see that it's um, the uh, gingerbread, gingerbread man, man who's screaming. From Shrek. And the cookie monster is coming after him. It's hilarious, isn't it? Got the gumdrop buttons. <laughs> More of my depressive nature. Things to do today. Get up, survive, go back to bed. Make a video. Nihilism. <laughs> It is nihilism, you're right. <laughs> and here is another a giant t-shirt that my husband bought me. Uh, this is Mr. Me Seeks from Rick and Morty. And he's saying existence is pain. And that is basically uh, the face and the message that I give Dave every day when he works, <laughs> walks in from work and says, what kind of day did you have? <laughs> this, uh, this is something I wore out um, with when I was with Brandon and his friends, they were horribly embarrassed. It says, um, I'm not a princess, I'm a Carlisi. <laughs> I don't look like that blonde woman off of Game of Thrones, do I? No. Nope. Um, here's a couple more t-shirts. This is a Frightwig t-shirt and it's the one that Kurt Cobain wore on the Unplugged um, recording. If you ever saw that on MTV. MTV. Yeah. And um, here, this is one of my newest t-shirts. I absolutely love it. It puts everyone at their ease when I'm uh, with them. <laughs> it says, uh, keep talking, I'm diagnosing you. 
Here's my Hello Kitty onesie. It's dirty. I didn't hang it in the wardrobe to wear. I hung it in the wardrobe because I wanted to make this video. It's a good onesie. It's fun. It's got a, it's got a tail and everything. Can you see the tail? But um, this part, <laughs> this part doesn't look like Hello Kitty at all, does it? I mean, it really doesn't. But um, it's it's awesome and warm. And last but not least is something that Brandon insisted I showed you because he thinks it's the greatest thing ever. Um, this is my fake fur coat and I stress it is fake fur. And look at this. I look like a hundred dollars down on this. <laughs> Depending what you want. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that. There's... I don't know. I never have the right sort of shoes to wear with a coat like this, I must say. Oh, and Brandon wants me to just show you something. I often wear this coat when I want to bond with <laughs> Reginald. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Do like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave your comments down below. And I absolutely love you all. Bye-bye.